folks, C.A. Rachna Ranade here and I welcome you all to a very interesting video. Well, before I start the video, let me tell you all that this is not involving any buy, sell or hold recommendation on any of the stocks involved in the Adani group. This video is solely made with an intention to analyze the debt which is present at the Adani group level. Also, let me tell you that whenever I did the research for this entire topic, what have I referred to? I have referred to the annual reports which are available in the public domain as at 31st March 2022. I have also referred to the company presentations which are available on the group website and also I have referred to various articles which are present over the internet. Also for your understanding, if you want, you can go to the description box as well, where you can see the links of all the reference materials that I've used. Well, now that you have already gone into the description box, you can see that there are a lot of links which are here, but one link has been specifically added that is of investing through the TradeCred platform. If you know about TradeCred, it is India's one of the largest fixed income platforms and I have made a separate video on how to invest using this platform. That is the video for you. So whenever time permits, please go through this video so that you get a detailed understanding about this platform. Well, I personally have been using this and my experience till date has been good. Let's get back to our main topic. Whenever we read words like deeply over leveraged in headlines of various articles, these words somehow get stuck up in our mind. Many a times without reading the entire articles, we jump to certain conclusions. So when I read this article for the very first time, there were few questions that popped up in my mind. The very first one was that, who is credit sites, right? The second question that came up in my mind was that, if they feel that it's deeply over leveraged, what is their view on the various group companies of Adanis? The third question that popped up in my mind was that what does the overall debt composition of the entire group looks like? And the fourth one was that if there is this amount of debt, does the group have the capacity to repay the debt or not? With all these four questions in my mind, I thought I should go through the various documents that are available in the public domain and then try and check what is a fact and what can be a fiction. Going ahead with the first question as to who is Credit Sites. Basically, Credit Sites is a part of the Fitch Group and Credit Sites is a research agency. Now, if you don't know what's a research agency, basically they analyze various entities and they give a buy, sell or a hold recommendation for the entity which they are researching, right? But we also said that Credit Sites is a part of Fitch Group. Now, Fitch is what? Fitch is a rating agency. Now, what does a rating agency do? Basically, a rate, credit rating agency is an entity that assigns credit ratings to the entity which is being reviewed. Whenever lenders want to lend money to such an entity, they will check what are the credit ratings which are assigned to this entity and then they can make a final call whether to lend money to such an entity or not. Okay, so with this, I hope the point is very clear that this report was issued by whom? It was not issued by Fitch, which is a credit rating agency. It was issued by Credit Sites, which is a research agency. Now, let's move on to the second point as to what is the view of Credit Sites on any of the group companies of Adanis. Now, for that, if you refer to the same report that we were talking about, just go to the conclusion of that report. Now, you'll be like, where will I find the report? Of course, I told you in the description box, right? So, if you go to the conclusion of the same report, you can see that they have written at the end that we retain our existing market perform recommendation on the two group Adani group companies under our coverage presently AGEL and APSEZ. Just in case if you don't know what is a market perform recommendation, I'm going to take you to the Investopedia website wherein what is the meaning of market perform recommendation is very clearly given. They say that market perform is a sell side analysis rating but what does it indicate? It indicates a neutral outlook for the shares of the company. This is roughly equivalent to the peer perform. So like others are performing, they'll perform peer perform or neutral or whole recommendation that are issued by other equity analysts. So the point that I was trying to make that the headline says deeply over leveraged, but in the conclusion, they are saying that it's market perform. So we have to be very sure on reading the entire article rather than jumping to conclusions, right? Now, the next question that popped up in my mind was that how about Fitch, which is the rating agency, if you remember? What is their view on any of the group companies of Adanis? Now, for that, I'll take you to this recent article, 16th June 2022 article, wherein it is very clearly given that Fitch upgrades outlook on four Adani group companies, affirms ratings. I'll just read here. Outlook of Adani ports, Adani Green Energy, Adani International Container Terminal and Adani Transmissions have been revised to stable from negative. So, I hope you have understood 
that what is the view of credit sites and Fitch on the Adani Group companies. Now let's try and understand about the debt composition. See the moment we talk about debt, what is the first fear that we have in our mind? It is that whether the taxpayer's money is at the helm. We have that assume, assumption in our mind that maybe PSU banks have given them loans and we start getting that fear that if that is not repaid then what? But for that we have to understand two points. Number one, what is the debt composition and number two, whether they have the capacity to repay. So first things first, we'll talk about the debt composition. Unfortunately, I could not find the split in the same report of credit sites. So what I did, I first tried to analyze that which all listed entities form a part of Adani group. And here you can see that all these entities are a part of Adani group. Now while doing the calculation, I have not considered the seventh listed entity which is Adani Wilmer. Why? Because Adani's share in Adani Wilmer Limited is held by Adani Enterprises Limited. And anyways, we are considering the debt at the group level. So this has been taken care of, right? So now what I did was downloaded all the annual reports. Where can you see that in the description box right so after downloading all the reports and after checking the long-term debt position as on 31st March 2022 I found that out of the total debt almost 43% has been raised via bonds and balance 57% has been raised through loans via banks and others right so before I move on you all have a homework I have given the links of all the annual reports in the description box you have to download them and you, can, you have to see whether your figure matches with this figure or not okay Moving ahead, I said, why not corroborate my own calculation? So for that, I went on to Adani Group's presentation, which is available on their website. And here I saw this pie chart, which you can see on the screen right now. As, of, as on 31st March 2022, you can see that the overall bonds, the money raised via bonds is 37% and 6% has been raised through PSU CapEx LC. But as per the management commentary, PSU CapEx LC and bonds are similar in nature and that's where our total of 43% matches properly. So going ahead with the same pie chart, you can see that there are certain global international banks and all that. So in simple words, they have also borrowed money by raising bonds in foreign currency. Now, if we so, we have to understand two, three important points here. Number one, because they are long term bonds, no need of refinancing. Number two, because they are in foreign currency, typically the cost of debt in such cases is generally lower. And number three, because the rates are locked, because these bonds are long term in nature, the rising interest rate scenario is not going to bother them. I hope all the points about debt composition are absolutely clear. Now let's move on to the most important point as to how can we perceive, how can we have an understanding about their repayment capacity. So for that first let's understand how much is the group level gross debt. So I have referred to this economic times article and here you can see that the group's gross debt was at 1.88 lakh crores. Seems to be a very big number, totally agreed. Next thing is how much is the net debt? It is 1.6 lakh crore by the end of June quarter this fiscal year. Okay. Now, just because the debt number is big, does it mean that they don't have the repayment capacity? Answer is no. Can I use debt to equity ratio to understand the repayment capacity? No. For that, we can use ratios, something like net debt to EBITDA or net debt to run rate EBITDA, right? So, one thing you have to keep in your mind, the point is that lower this ratio, better is the repayment capacity right now if you see in the same article you can see that their net debt to run rate EBITDA or to EBITDA has come down to around 3.2x versus 7.6x almost nine years ago now can we try and corroborate this number again for that I'll take you to one of the investor presentations group presentation again available on their website here you can see that in 2013 their net debt to run rate EBITDA was 7.6x and it has dropped off to 3.4x now you might be like it was 3.2x here it is 3.4x uh, anyways it is higher on their own website but what what they have done is they have not considered the other income data point if they do consider this it will automatically come down to 3.2x right i hope this point is absolutely clear so ratio is good ticked off second point where can be a problem for repayment repayment can be a problem if their underlying project Ka overall contracted periods or underlying project contract periods if that does not match with the debt schedule just to give you an example i'll show you one or two screenshots again available on their investor presentation uh, here you can see for APSZ what is the total contracted period it, it is 50 years okay so 50 years ka contract the pro project life is 50 years and now you can imagine if they have to repay this big debt in less than five years will that be a problem Yes. 
So ideally, when will there be an asset liability match? Only if the loan taken for this specific contract is somewhere around 48 years, 49 years or 50 years. Agreed? I'll give you another example. For AGEL, here you can see that the PPL life, the project life is 25 years. Ideally, for this project, whatever debt they are taking, that should also be around 25 years, something say 23, 24, 25. If it is again less than 5 years, could that be a problem? Yes. So, for that, if you refer to this specific uh, present, uh, this specific point, again sourced from the group presentation, you can see that debt which is to be paid within 5 years. In March 2013, Whatever debt they had, out of that 100% was to be repaid within 5 years, was that a problem? Yes. But now as the years have passed by, they have taken care of this point and now you can see that out of the total debt, only 26% is debt which is to be repaid in less than 5 years. I hope with this you have understood the total point about the re debt repayment capacity. I hope you have gotten the answers to all the four questions that we raised at the beginning of the video. So always remember that don't make up your mind just based on the headlines of a specific article. Ideally, you should try and corroborate the data based on various other articles which are available over the public domain. Refer to the group presentations which are available on the company's websites. Also try to go through the annual report and then make up your mind. I hope you enjoyed this explainer video and if you want to learn more about various topics, don't forget to click here. Till then, take care. Jai Hind and Padmanabha.